Hi, my name is Maddie and this week, instead of doing a watercolor tutorial, since I'm going to be out of my studio this weekend, I thought it'd be really fun to show you the supplies that I bring along for painting out in the field. So I always pack a bag of a sketchbook and some watercolors and other tools that I need for sketching and I've gotten very good at packing light and taking along tools that make it really fast and easy to sketch in the field. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll take you with me on my weekend trip and you can see what I pack in my bag for painting. So let's get started. This is everything that I bring with me when I'm traveling to do watercolor sketching. And a lot of these supplies I give credit for learning about field sketching and building my kit to my time in the science illustration program at CSUMB and the instructors there. So I'll start out with the watercolors. This is a palette that I got on Amazon. And here's a sticker by the wonderful Marco Meredith Doodles on Instagram. First of all, I keep my paper towel tucked into my palette so I can have something to wipe my brush on. And this palette has lots of room for mixing paint on both sides. And here are my paints. I don't fill up the palette all the way because these are the only paints I need. I have lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, raw umber, burnt sienna, burnt umber, ochre's green, sap green, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine, Paints Gray, Permanent Rose, and Cadmium Red. And I always keep a little key on paper of the colors that I have in my palette so I can remember what goes where, what they look like on paper, and the names in case the labels on the actual pans get what rubbed off. So it's not the smallest palette out there, but I think it does a good job. And over here, this is my number one tool for field sketching. It's a rubber kneaded eraser, so it's not a solid square like other erasers. You can break it into pieces, mold it, and I also use it in my watercolor palette to stick things into place. So I'll put it here so that these things don't move around. And I'll put it under the pans even to hold them in place, just these ones and these ones. And yeah, it's really, really handy. And this here is a little container of white gouache mixed with some oxcall liquid that I can use for putting highlights onto my paper. Uh, as you can see, it's like solid right now, so I need to refill it with some fresh gouache. And this is just a little pencil sharpener in case I need to sharpen a pencil. And I always make sure to have a little bag so that I'm not putting pencil shavings out into the wilderness. Next I have a sketchbook and a little clip, so this clip can hold the pages down as you paint so that it's not opening and so that the wind doesn't flop it open. This is a watercolor sketchbook so it has really thick textured paper that's great for painting on. And you can definitely find smaller sketchbooks than this for watercolor if you want to get the tiniest possible watercolor painting kit. My next awesome favorite tool to use is this Pentel water brush. So instead of bringing a separate container of water for your brush, it's all stored in the handle. So all you do is squeeze the handle as you hold it and water will come out. And to clean your brush after, you just wipe it on a paper towel while you're squeezing it so more water comes out. And if you don't have a brush like this and you just have a regular brush, You'll have to bring along something that can hold water for you. So I have this one that can hold two liquids and it has a little clip so it can sit on your notebook. You can really use any jar or container to get water on your brush. I also always bring a mechanical pencil for sketching because you don't have to sharpen it. I usually bring along a pen so that I can do some lines on my sketches to make them look finished and nicer faster. And that's just my style of field sketching, is to do watercolor with some pen lines. And this is a Micron pen, so you can draw on the paper and then put watercolor on pretty much immediately after, and the ink won't bleed or run. Another fun thing to use are watercolor pencils. So these are like colored pencils, except when you put water on them, they will 
act like watercolor on your paper. So if you do your sketch in this and then put water on after, it will bleed and combine with your paints. So I will use this instead of pencil for sketch sometimes because it won't show through your watercolor underneath and it will just blend into your painting. So I'll sometimes make a sketch in pencil, go over it with a watercolor pencil and then erase so that only the pencil is erased underneath. And I usually bring two colors, blue and, ye blue and yellow, <laughs> so that I find that these pretty much cover the range of paintings that I need to do and we'll go either blue or yellow will go with whatever painting I'm trying to do. And optional, you can bring some masking tape or washi tape. This is the smallest tape that I have. And you can use this to block off your edges to make them nice and clean. But usually I don't bring it along because I like how field sketching has some rough edges and a more casual feel. So I put all of that into this little pouch and then all of this will go into my backpack.